Greetings, DFG here. Hey, uh, guys. Uh, just want to take a moment and uh, I want to share um, some um, additional insight. I, I sent out a video just recently, uh, and the video was uh, uh, related to stress. Um, and I'd gone through uh, a situation of uh, illness. Greetings, DFG here, Gideon's Flight. Um, as the saying goes, uh, for every problem, there's a solution. Uh, so I just want to, uh, to just take a couple of minutes of your time, and I want to share with you um, some follow I want to really follow up with you on a video that I, I, I posted recently, uh, and it was around stress. And uh, in particular, I was identifying an illness uh, that... Um, had overtaken my body due to not uh, properly having the right um, method to vent, um, to release that stress. And so uh, today I just wanted to just share three, three different things on, that you might want to consider uh, as it relates to um, how do you deal with stress. Um, and I will tell you that, it, as, I, as I've said before uh, on the last video, you know, there's positive stress and then there's negative stress. Uh, positive stress, as you know, can be inspiring and it can drive, you know, results and it can, you know, it can get things done. Uh, it's the, you know, a fight or flight um, type of um, stress that that's really healthy for human beings. It helps you to be alert, keep your, your mentally sharp. But there's also negative stress and, and that stress will kill you. And I said it just like I meant it. And, and it, it, can, it can kill you. I'll call it spiritual suicide. How about that? Because what will happen is if you don't release that stress, you know, your body internally will start to die on you in ways that you could never imagine, even think of it. Um, I was told that uh, uh, through some medical professionals that almost every disease known to man is directly or indirectly uh, related uh, to, to stress. So you need to be thinking in terms of if you're in a stressful environment, how do you, how do you create space to assure that uh, you're dealing with this stress properly. And I'll give you some things. First thing you may want to think about is looking at, you know, some type of uh, spiritual, you know, um, meditation. And that could be in forms of prayer. It could be uh, with faith-based organizations. Uh, it could even be um, uh, just just men's groups. Getting in flight, for example, is an organization that, that, that actually help men deal with a lot of the... Uh, crisis that that men deal with that are stress related to be honest with you uh, so you need an outlet you know uh, you know, that's step one uh, step two uh, what you probably want to take a look at is how do you take and get some time away uh, vacation time family time doing something you know what I'm saying that you you know your bucket list you know find something on your bucket list stop you know uh, and and just you know go go you know if you like working out go work out but find something that you enjoy doing, you know, and then do it. Uh, don't consider doing it. Actually take steps to make it happen. Uh, and then I think the third thing is to, 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 to vent, to, to speak up. Do not um, allow yourself to uh, shut down because your, your mouth might shut down, but your body is, is not going to shut down. As a matter of fact, as I stated earlier in the video, your body is going to speak ex very, very loud and it could result in, again, you know, physical impairments. It could definitely uh, create a situation where depression becomes something that could cause, you know, your, you know, your other vital function, vital um, extremities to shut down, vital organs, I'm sorry, to shut down. Uh, it can also create a situation where anger becomes intensified. Uh, you can find yourself striking out at people, striking at people that you love. Uh, and causing a lot of harm. So you have to have uh, 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 the understanding to speak up, say what you mean, say how you feel, share how you feel. Um, and don't worry about the risk that's involved because nine times out of ten, you know, if you share it and it's honest feedback and you're sharing a genuine concern, people will make room for you. And those who don't want to make room for you, they don't matter anyway. So don't give that too much consideration. But, you know, and last, I guess, in, in addition to that, is that if you have to change your environment, then change the environment, whether that is, you know, relocate, 
you know, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, change jobs, uh, change careers, but do something drastic if you find yourself overwhelmed, you know, in that 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 pot on the stove, that kettle is 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 it does not have a place to release the 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 steam of stress is what I'll call it. Then you create it. You know, do something different, do something extreme. You know, safe obviously, and obviously you want to make sure that you know in your venting that that it that is that is respectful and it's honorable. You know, uh, it's, no one has a right to harm someone because you're frustrated, but you do have a right to have the right to say how you feel. Okay. Uh, so that being said, I hope it helps uh, for you guys who are, you know, in my corner as I was going through my situation. Thank you a whole lot. You know, surely I appreciate it. I thank God for you. And, um, you know, I just want you to just be better, uh, live better, think better, uh, because at the end of the day, you deserve better. OK. All right. Love you. DFG. Gideon Flight. Goodbye.